The public release of the newest Mac software update will be here before you know it, and I want to make sure you know what to expect. Hey guys, Rex here with iDrop News, and today I'm going through the highlight features of Mac OS Sierra. It's no secret Apple has spent a majority of its innovation muscle on the iPhone and iPad. It's hard to blame them since that's also where a majority of the company's revenue has come from over the past decade. However, Apple's Mac business by itself would still be one of the top 150 companies in the world, so it certainly deserves attention. There is much more to the Mac's newest software update other than the name change from OS X to Mac OS. Mac OS Sierra is in many ways an update to catch up with iOS innovation, and that's not a bad thing. Many Mac critics have called the platform stagnant for a few years now. Of course, the Mac operating system is much more mature than iOS and arguably doesn't need as many new features, but it is certainly in need of some innovation. With Mac OS Sierra, Apple has delivered. Mac users have been waiting for quite some time for Apple's digital assistant to arrive. In Mac OS Sierra, the time has finally come. Undoubtedly, the highlight feature in the Mac's newest software update is Siri. But even though many Mac users have made a fuss about Siri's absence, it remains to be seen whether the digital assistant will be any more than a fun feature to play with for a week and then forgotten about. Giving Apple credit, the functionality is certainly here. Siri on the Mac is not a stripped down version as it is on Apple TV. If you use Siri regularly on iOS, you'll feel right at home on the Mac. Familiar searches like sports scores, weather, and web searches are a breeze. Sending a message or making a phone call is painless. And to be honest, those four or five things are a majority of what I use Siri for on iOS. However, Siri on the Mac does have a powerful addition that's not available on its iOS counterpart. That is excellent document search. I'm sure I'm not the only Mac user who spends way too much time trying to track down where I saved a document. With Siri on the Mac, you can precisely search for documents. For example, you can say, show me files I've looked at this week. And finally, Apple is improving Siri's contextual abilities. So you can then say, just the ones Matt sent me. And you can get even more specific. Siri, show me PDF files I've downloaded in the last three days. I always appreciate when Apple adds features with real-world practicality rather than a gimmick that just looks cool on stage. Siri's document search capability is one such feature that's already making its way into my everyday workflow. iOS has introduced some major new features in the Photos app, and it's a relief to see the same updates making their way to Mac OS. If you're like me, there are tons of old photos you never got around to doing anything with. The new Memories section automatically gathers photos from certain times and events, and I've certainly got lost a few times reminiscing through old photos in this section. Since most of us have thousands of photos on our phones, search has been a major focus lately. Apple has added a formidable search feature to the Photos app. You can now search for photos using all sorts of search terms from people, places, uh, dates, and even things in the photo. There are also new Places and People albums. As I'm sure you've guessed, the Places album allows you to check out your photos based on where you took them, and the People album lets you view photos of certain people. Although iCloud Drive has received its fair share of criticism since its debut a few years ago, the service is really starting to take shape in macOS Sierra. Apple has added what is, in my opinion, one of the most useful and innovative updates to iCloud Drive ever. In macOS Sierra, both the desktop and documents folder on your Mac will be automatically synced to iCloud, making anything saved in those two locations available on any other device using iCloud Drive. I know I'm in good company with other Mac users who use the desktop as a temporary dumping ground for files currently being worked with. Being able to mindlessly have access to those files on my iPhone or iPad at any point during the day is great. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've looked for a file on my iPhone only to realize I forgot to save it to Dropbox. Along the same lines as the iCloud Drive update is what Apple has labeled Universal Clipboard. This feature is self-explanatory, but again, extremely useful. The ability to copy and paste information across devices is fantastic and seems like the logical next step to the continuity features Apple introduced in OS X Yosemite. 
I've used quite a few clipboard management apps, but most of them are complicated and can be a headache to use. Apple's famous old tagline couldn't describe this universal clipboard feature better. It just works. Using it is as easy as copying an item on one device and pasting it on the other. As long as your iPhone is running iOS 10, then there's no setup required. Again, it just works. So iTunes has felt like the black sheep of Mac software for years now. And I'm still pushing for Apple to break up iTunes into multiple apps as they've done with iOS. But in Mac OS Sierra, iTunes has received a redesign and new layout primarily focused on making Apple Music easier to use. I'm certainly not satisfied with the updated iTunes, but it is less of a dumpster fire to use in Mac OS Sierra. So I guess Apple is heading in the right direction. Continuing the trend of iOS features coming to the Mac, Picture in Picture is a new feature that's been available on the iPad for a while. In Mac OS Sierra, you can now float a window of any video from Safari or iTunes over your desktop. Similar to iOS, you can resize the window and place it in any corner of your screen. Well, alright guys, that does it for this video. These are some of the features I'm most excited about in Mac OS Sierra, but there are many others I can't cover in this video. For more on Mac OS Sierra and everything else new coming from Apple this fall, keep it locked right here to iDrop News, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.